Hey guys, so um, a few months ago I went to China and like always when I travel things go wrong. Um, I ended up not getting into China like I thought, but I've got some video that I wanted to share with you guys. It kind of outlays a little bit of what happened. Um, and so I wanted you guys to kind of see. I know it didn't happen uh, live on my channel, but at least we get to see some of the mishap. So enjoy. On our way to LA from San Diego. Yes. Um, we're going to China. I don't have a visa, but I have the APEC, which apparently they don't know anything about. Um, no clue. They asked multiple supervisors. But uh, but we educated them, and I'm on the plane. Eddie was a little worried at first that I wasn't going to get on the plane. Well, because I've been to a different country without Jordan because he couldn't make it. So <laughs> I thought this was going to be part two. But, uh, but all is good. I already was getting mentally prepared. <laughs> I, was, I, I'm like, I'm like, all I was like, so... I was doing the math. How, how quick could I potentially get a visa if I needed to? But uh, we're good. We're good. So we'll see you on the other side. Right. See you. In LA, at least. You know, on the other side of soberness. <laughs> <laughs> Trapped in Hong Kong. I didn't get through immigration while in Shanghai, so they put me on a plane and shipped me out to Hong Kong. Now I'm headed to the consulate to see what it takes to get into China. Um, slept in the airport last night behind a newsstand on the ground. Luckily I had my sleeping bag with me and some other uh, random young traveler ended up setting their bed up right behind me in the middle of the night. Uh, slept off and on but overall got enough sleep. Um, so next stop. Uh, downtown Hong Kong and the consulate to see where that goes. I'm told it's probably going to take about a day to process that new visa, so we'll see what happens. All right, so visa in hand, heading to the airport. It was late last night. Met up with some people, drank a beer tower, um, and apparently a big a white area of Hong Kong. Uh, so that's kind of cool, except there's a lot of white people, obviously. So that's always odd when you're in Asia. But uh, yeah, headed to the airport. It was crazy this morning. Jumping in Ubers and cabs and running out of money and then um, checking my bag at the office building. And then I lost the receipt. And so they charged me another basically dollar. Um, and but I was running out of cash to pay a cab and my phone battery is dead. So anyway, um, come into Hong Kong, bring a Brit British adapter uh, anywhere else in the world, apparently, other than Britain. Yeah, I don't have any issues with adapters. So I've been finding USB charging places everywhere I go, like on the train. So, uh, yeah, now I've got to rush to the airport and see if I can catch the earliest flight to Edward in Shanghai. See you later.
This guy's got his work cut out for him. We lied about our weight and we told him we weigh 100 pounds combined. Combined, yeah. Because no. he only knows kilograms. So it By was the really way, confusing. He said he's going to show us the temple, but we're going to get our organs harvested. Yep. So it was, it was, I mean, it was pretty cool knowing you guys, but Yo, it's home, cool, homeboy's got to go. go. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take, it's called the Tuk Tuk of Death. See you guys on the other side. Idiot. Ready for that kung fu? Yeah, man. Let's do this. It's gonna be Shaolin monks. We travel the world doing this show. This is their original home theater. Let's do this. Red theater. <laughs> what? You already hit somebody? No, no. I want to hit it hard. I hit that one hard. Speed bumps. Speed bumps? 
Oh. Dude, I came off that thing hot.
the big finish, Eddie. Crush it! Scorpions. A couple of girls wanted to see if we wanted to have beer with them. It's like the second time. Okay. I just had that. Snack market. All right. Pretty ready. We at the place. The place with the stuff, with the things. We just bought uh, a couple pounds of heroin um, from this place. From they measure in the pounds here. This is how we roll, though. This is how we roll. Watch your head. <laughs> uh, it's, you gotta, you gotta watch your head when you uh, are do, do that. These heights. <laughs> up in her, up in her. Huh? My shades on. And my shades on. Through the door we go. Beijing. Beijing, Eddie Ray. Massage. It's a little toasty. Yeah, it's hot. Hot. Got it's these. Like what, 80, Got these boys here rolling around in our tanks. Bringing a little SD to Beijing. Get some tan. Come back to SD tan. I'll tanned up. <laughs> the Asian tan. Having that Asian glow. Having that Asian sun. That looks like trout.
All right, guys. Well, that was China. That's what I gathered uh, here and there. Uh, there's a little bit of other footage that uh, didn't make the highlight reel. Uh, I know the camera's kind of bouncing around. I just learned that I should be doing my cameras, uh, my filming sideways so that it shows up better on YouTube, but I'll start getting that down a little bit more. But I'm at the office. It's Sunday. It's 12 a.m. Uh, China's hitting me up. Got website work to finish before I leave to Phoenix tomorrow, but you'll be catching me and Eddie in Phoenix uh, doing our thing. We'll give you a little bit of a sneak peek. We'll probably get some footage there uh, on the way as well as some of us probably getting a little nightlife action. Uh, you saw some of my stuff go out from uh, Comic-Con and San Diego nightlife. Hope you enjoyed that. Stay tuned, guys. And uh, we'll see you.